We're in the heart of Chicago, Illinois, one of the best cities, I think, in the world. I lived here for like four years. I used to work for an NBA player, my boy BP. Shout out BP, make sure you repost this. Pretty much, I love this city. Best food, best everything, but y'all just make sure to stay tuned. All right, peace. Ready, you ready? Yeah, sunny Southern California waves hitting. Got the Louis V luggage on deck. I do stuff a little different, you know what I'm saying? I just call it Uber. They'll be here in a There you go. <laughs> that quick. About to get into it, man, on the way to LAX. We outside. It's looking real good for the weekend. But this is the LA weather. We gotta see what Chicago talking about. Let's go, let's go. Usually, usually I'll be right there. Finally made it to Chicago, baby. Damn, I was hoping to come out in the tunnel with all the lights and same, this is the same tunnel Kevin McAllister was on, Home Alone, baby. One thing y'all gotta stop doing in the sneaker community is dirtying up them all white Air Force Ones. Let's take a closer look. Yeah. Dunzo, Dunzo. So right now we're here at Batter and Berries. It's a black owned restaurant established in 2012. The place is vibrant and the food is always fresh. I was persuaded to get the special of the day, which was a crab case Benedict. Make sure if you get that to ask the server for the special hot sauce. It's fire, no pun intended. <laughs> Needless to say, this place is a must. You gotta stop by, but make sure if you do stop by to get there a little early because they open at eight and they close around 2.30 every day. Oh my goodness. Like on this, on this show that I'm doing, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm not gonna say stuff good that I don't like. I'm not sparing any feelings. Like if I don't like the food, I don't like the food. I'm gonna be respectful, but it's just, just know you're gonna get the real out of it. It was fire, as usual, you know, it's just consistency, man. And this is one of the spots that people in the city know about, but if you've ever visited Chicago, uh, you know, it's one of the ones that people don't know too much about. So thumbs up, thumbs up for sure. So in this episode, I wanted to make it a point to stop by every place that ever held me down when I was living in Chicago. And Boneyard was definitely one of those places. Unfortunately, the owner and my homeboy Tone was out doing some hood rat shit with his friends. But next time, we definitely gonna stop and chop it up with him. But make sure y'all go check out Boneyard Chicago. They got all the heat. Hit his legs, watch him walk it out. He was playing tough. Why the fuck you wanna talk it out? I just caught a nigga lacking at the Waffle House. Niggas know I'm. Oh, y'all pulling up? Yeah. Uh, all right, bet. I'm headed there. Like I'm like 15 away. I don't, I don't really like paying for shots when I go to these places, but you know I pay around my respects. You know, so I bring a little water bottle in, 100% water. There we go. Saved by the text. Oh yeah. Oh, you know about that? Oh, okay, cool. Going. Just here for the burgers, right? Right. right? <laughs> And that's exactly what I'm here for. Appreciate you coming us out. No problem at all, but uh, it's nothing. You know Jane and Jane. Yeah, yeah that's my guy. Yeah, yeah. That's the she, homie. Yeah, she, you know she pregnant again, right? That's another baby. Why he, why he say that like, he didn't do it. Like, yeah. You know she pregnant again, yeah. right? Man, that's crazy. Look, like, I, I needed I need the second one, though. So like, what's your, so what's your name? This girl, uh, LA, Gianna Rose. Gianna Rose? Yeah. That's good. So yeah. Two, two fresh ass girls. I'm excited about this one. I'm not going to lie. This is the uh, honey fried chicken. It's got the kind of Korean vibe to it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see what this is talking about. 
I love this spot. Ashaval. And this this isn't even what I came for. This is not what I came for. But hold on. Sweet baby Jesus. And I told y'all I'm not gonna fake the funk. If something is nasty, I'm gonna tell you. It tastes like ash cheese. This one, huh? This one might taste like Rihanna's ash cheese, which is pretty fine. Pretty good. You gotta try this. Appreciate it, my man. I'm wings deep. <laughs> hey, that, that fried chicken's good, isn't it? Fire. You gotta stop at Walgreens and get some Tums. For sure. For sure. Check it out. Check it? Yeah. Never trust a nigga to say check it out in Chicago. Remember that. <laughs> That's it? That might be it. It sounds a lot. <laughs> Sensational. My name is Jacob, aka Lil O, aka Omar. And I'm one of the f greatest. Hey, I'm gonna tell y'all a story about Lil O. Oh, uh, sh. That's decent. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna say it. I, I can tell them the story. And the most heterosexual way possible. They found you how? They found me on my stomach with my pants down, man. On the bathroom. But booty naked. Now. Just for, just for, take us there, for take reference, us there. take us there. When I get fucked up and I'm not at home, I really like to sleep on the bathroom floor because the bathroom floor always cold. It always cool your temperature. You don't got AC? It's just, you be hot. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't hey, the first bathroom floor you found me on. No, it's not. He did this twice, and I didn't tell you this, but he did this twice. And at this point, we was just like, maybe this is just what he liked to do. Because, like, some like that, you just have to see it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna send you the clip. You know, edit that in there. Blue ass out, bro. Whoa. No more, get up, bro. Get up, fam. Second person I met in Chicago. No Second way. And, he, and he, he took me under his wing. He said, Listen, don't f with her, her, and. <laughs> nah, but this is my guy for real. He, 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 run, he run the shop. Y'all tap in with him. If you need anything, tap in with him. His, his, uh, his, his Instagram handle is going to be right here. You know how they do it? Right here. It's going to be right here. Everything I'm saying is facts, so, so it don't matter. I'm crazy, all right? I'm just getting detail shots for your B-roll footage. Yeah, B-roll. You know? Get all that. I'm saying, ooh, OK. Get all that. The shoes? Dip the butter. The shoes? Dip the butter. Dip the butter. need you in the light. About to get lit, baby. need you in the light. Oh, there we go. Dang. Tell me I ain't got you. Tell me I ain't got you. <laughs> Tell me I ain't got you. We're still crazy. Hey, look, look. We're gonna act like we're in A, but like, like I was saying, man, this is my guy. A1 sure, since one, day one. one. A1 one since day one, for sure. Bitch, I'm stoked up. I don't know you. Better hold up. What's the hold up? Nigga, we done rolled up. We done rolled up. And talking switches and no papers and no pack. Hey. Hey. This boy, we in the Rover. I'm a soldier. Thought I told you. Go to bed, I'm at the mouth like send me salsa.
All right, so I'm here to get my ass kicked today by my friend, the one and only Jen. Uh, she gonna take us through a little workout today and, you know, just get us right. Work off all this liquor that we had last night, but, you know, we gonna be all right. We gonna be good. Okay? Yeah. All right, you say you want a little chest, so you have a chest. A little bit of everything, mainly chest. I gotta get my pectoral. Yeah, you gotta get his pectoral. I gotta get my pectoral. Let me touch up though, so I'm gonna work on a little bit of everything. She I'm had to throw cardio. legs in there. Yeah. Like, too. Like, she, I was like, yo, can we uh, work on chest? She was like, I'm going to do a little bit of legs, too. You know? <laughs> yeah, a little bit of everything. But, right. we, but we definitely going to get right. We're going to uh, do this because after this, I'm going to go to some more eating spots and, you know, gain a few more pounds, but she's going to help me out with it. All right? Killing a young black man in these Chicago streets. Yeah, you should have some Nah, yeah. She, she's getting me right for my uh, festivities after this. Yep. Going to the Cuban, the Cuban spot. Then, we, then we're going to get drunk, fellas. Ah. Am I close to the box? Yes, yes, you come to the box. So sit, then come back up. There we go. Perfect. You go on that long. Two, sit, yep, back up. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Okay, now, quick side. You got 12. I know that one. Ooh, that last one took me off. Huh? That last one took me off. Love it. Eight and a half. Close down, back. Oh, we're trying to have you spread it down. And then bring it back on the lower side. Yep, 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 right. Yeah. Four. Good job. One, two, three, eight. It's, it's pretty easy. She's, she's trying to kill me. <laughs> I can't feel my body right now. One, two, this is our finish. Nine. Good job. Today. Last year I placed third in the sexiest man in the world competition. So I'm going for that first spot this year, you know. She's trying to get me right. You know, I finished third, first two was first two, uh first and second place was me and me. But you know, we're gonna get right. Let's go. Ah. You've been sexiest man in the world. I'll see you. Stretch. Get the fuck out of here. Oh. Swear, hey, if y'all in the Chicago area, please come holler at her. If you want to get right. She <laughs> knows what she's doing. <laughs> and I won't be back. Because I'm tired of a motherfucker right now. <laughs>I just got to Mima's Taste of Cuba. I had been wanting to try that place for a while, man, ever since I lived in Chicago. I reached out to the owners, Jamie and Billy, and they welcomed me with open arms. Right off the bat, you can tell this restaurant was a staple in the community. This is a spot you can take your girl on a date, you can take your parents to, or you can just chill out after work and watch the game, grab a few beers or something. The food at Mima's was so fire. Like I always say, si conquinos como caminas, ni como hasta las raspitas. Okay, maybe I don't always say that, but still. The staff was so cool, man. They gave me one of everything on the menu. But my favorite by far was Mom's Jabarito and the Empanadas. You hear that accent, though? Like, I might change my name to Esteban. But don't be fooled by just the food. They have a drink menu out of this world. You gotta try the frozen tropical drinks. And if you want to get a little lit quicker, you definitely gotta try the Henny Passion. Come to this place. Hospitality is crazy. The vibe is crazy, as you can see. The drinks are fire. I'm a little fucked up, and I'm gonna keep getting fucked up. Y'all, yeah. Come to this place. Come. Yeah, so every time I come to the shop, I gotta do a big man. We got the big boy rentals out here on Michigan Ave. You know what I'm saying? Just doing my thing. We about to pull up to my boys at Fleet Club and see what it do, you know? Um, hey, can you get off my car, please? This is your car. Sorry about that. Hurry up, come on.
guys taught me everything I need to know about the shoe game. And then Appreciate so that. Uh, we tried, man. But, man, this is this is all make gave me my first opportunity working. I knew yeah, about shoes definitely. and whatnot. I knew about shoes and whatnot, but whenever I gotta, really I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get on the grind, they, they show me how to hit the road and go get the shoes myself, man. Yeah. So they always give me blessings for me. This is my guy Jim Shoe. We go, we go way back. No. We go way back on what T looks. We go way back, man. Sorry. <laughs> anytime y'all, anytime y'all in Chicago, this needs to be the first first place y'all go. And we're, we're the shirt that uh, we're that uh, stop complaining about the price shirt. Oh, T got a T. <laughs> where that shirt at, man? Twenty two twenty one West Taylor, and we got a twenty two nineteen. Now we expanded, so. Uh, they do a big thing. Yeah, right? come shop with Hey, but when you come shop, when you come shop, don't complain about the price. It's all fair pricing. Don't get it twisted. But just buy the shoe. You know what I mean? Just if you can't shoe. buy it, just get on there, man. Just look and say, I'll holler at y'all. Definitely shop by them. We got a whole lot of stuff to offer. A whole lot of hard to find shoes. A whole lot of hard to find clothes. You yeah. said we got chrome, D-Long, yeah. off-white, essential, anti-social social club. Gallery department. It's like everything that's fly. Well, I say, when I say it, they got it all, right, they really got it all. Right. I told you that they got it all. Right, definitely. Well, gentlemen. Yeah, you can't come here. Don't you? 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 Don't that's how I used to come about five, six new pair of you. They showed me how to do all that. And uh, they passed out, they passed out knowledge. And now, you know, now I'm on y'all left. I'm telling you, they got it all, man. They got the off-white, you know, already. Y'all know I got these from here. They got the off-whites, and then they got the whole easy. I don't even know if these came out shit. These ain't even out shit, man. So they got, they got the plugs and the drops on everything, man. And this is my boy, hey, we was co-workers, we was doing our thing, he cold, he, he cold with the motherfuckers, the camera too, so, you need anything, he got you. I ain't picked up a camera in a minute, but. You go to, hey, you go to my Instagram page, though, he got some of him, some of them pictures are sponsored by him, he used to give me right. I ain't gonna lie. The back in the old day, that was my old check What you doing, you producing? Oh, yeah, I've been producing that Go House, I'm You know what? I'm at the flea, you know, I still take the pictures, but I'm on my phone now. You know, work smart, now. hard. That's all right, hey, it's okay, me. That's how you know we really plug, man. We ain't gonna show too much of the merch, but we gonna go out here with my boy outside. We gonna see what's going on. I can't do no talking, I have work to do. Uh-huh. But, uh, just in case you next time. You know, or if I get through first. You feel me? My man. Yeah. My man. Fucking heavy. Yeah. He is heavy. This is heavy. Hey, this the guy. This, this, this the heart and soul of Fleet, but they ain't gonna tell you that. Yeah. You know, yeah. that people come to see him, anybody on my Instagram, they already know. He, you see him working, he out here working. What's up, people? We're here at Soleil, my favorite restaurant in Chicago. This is not only Bridget Flagg, the owner, but this is my family. And uh, she's taking care of me every time I've came here. I, I used to live literally a block away. So, you know, I have a few drinks and just walked to Soleil, and she always had me. Um, anytime anybody's in the area, I want y'all to come to Soleil, tell them I sent you. You're not gonna get a discount, but they'll at least take care of you quickly. <laughs> they at least take care of you quickly. We, and they gonna help you out. But this is one of the best places I've been. And we love the food. Every time I tell anybody, I'm putting people on Soleil, Soleil, Soleil. She already know why I want. I'm probably gonna step out. I'm not gonna get the salmon and shrimp today. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I, I'm not gonna get the salmon and shrimp today. We're gonna get some fish, maybe some chicken, whatever you want. You want? You hungry? She, yeah, she, she shaking that camera. We know, we know she hungry, but we gonna eat, feast, and um, can we order drinks or is it BYOB? It's BYOB. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. I already knew that. Let y'all know. Uh, yeah, yeah we're going to get some drinks, we're going to get some food, and then we're going to tie back in with you guys, alright? We're going to get him a taste test later. Facts, facts. That's what I know. I'm going to get him a side of lamb chop. I'm going to do a black and salmon pasta. And we're going to get him some catfish. Oh, no, I know one thing I gotta have is the uh, chicken spaghetti. Yeah, I gotta have chicken spaghetti. And make some chicken spaghetti. I love this. 
but I really don't. So I'm back in LA, we're back working, we're back grinding. I appreciate everybody who showed love in Chicago, man. I appreciate all my people who came out and supported. Um, all the restaurants who showed me love and let me come in and do my thing. I appreciate you guys. Keep in mind, this is the first vlog that I've done. So it's only up from here, you know. We only getting bigger, we only getting better. I appreciate everybody. Um, Y'all make sure to stay tuned to my Instagram, which is Lord Williamson, it's right there. Um, and then whenever I drop my YouTube, y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. And I'm probably going to do something special. I might do a little giveaway next video, you know what I'm saying? I might give away a Bentley or a helicopter or something. Because we getting money. Like, you can't tell me we not getting... Anyways, YouTube, Instagram, y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all be safe. Peace.